All right, perfect. So I'm gonna re-record this because I wasn't quite prepared. Um, but I'm gonna show you for this uh, Cubase tutorial how to make a good mix on Cubase. Now, um, as I was saying before, uh, mixing is subjective and it depends on uh, the what you want to hear um, uh, but there is a standard in which uh, music gets mixed and we all listen to it uh, more or less across a, a plane whether it's in rock or pop or uh, or video game soundtracks or film soundtracks or whatever it is you want to want to write there is a there's a standard that's um, people uh, make so that you can kind of go across each track in uh, that it's smooth, it, it transitions well. Some tracks will be slightly softer than others and some will be uh, 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 slightly louder. Uh, but the best way that I learned is to compare a track uh, that I liked and uh, try and get sounds that match that or at least match the level so what you can do is uh, let's just drop a track into Cubase now that I've, I've found a track uh, this is an example of, of a well mixed track um, and you can see where the uh, the highs and lows of, of the track is uh, you also hit F3, and that'll bring up the, the mix console. So um, when you're playing it back, I'll just play a little bit. You can see that it's around that uh, zero range and probably won't go above a, a plus six decibel. Yeah, probably won't go above a plus six. Uh, if, it's, if it's hitting, up here it's going to start uh, uh, bleeding red so it'll it'll um, say you know what there's there's a standard and we don't want it to go above uh, uh, plus six decibels uh, it goes from one to zero and then six is, is way up here I wouldn't recommend uh, uh, messing with this I, I did for the longest time and I, I wish I, I had tried this a long time ago but the best trick to do is uh, compare that and add add a add another track. Let me just short form that, and you'll notice that all tracks are, uh, or, or the tracks made by uh, these uh, uh, companies like Cubase and or. They're called VST plugins or virtual virtual sound technology tracks. Um, they they're 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 mixed well so that when you when you play back on the keyboard, um, they're 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 never going to be above that that zero line. Um, you can of course bring that the volume up so it reaches a little closer to. where the level is um, but it doesn't go higher than a specific um, that 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 uh, zero output or if it does it it shouldn't uh, bleed uh, the the tip and trick that that I I I learned that was best and I'll make a note of this is to have the the computer volume that you have set on a uh, Windows uh, PC. Uh, I found that the best for headphone mixing is I've left it on either a 12 or 14 volume. Uh, sometimes I've done 10, but uh, 12 and 14 seems to be the closest to uh, having the music uh, at a average uh, it, it it hits you um, or if you're uh, writing music with speakers I recommend um, p 
putting the uh, the computer volume at either 90 or 100, which is the the entire the entire meter. It goes from a zero to 100, but I I I left it. Yeah, I am checking right now. The computer volume I I've left at 14. Uh, so right now I, I you could say I compose on 14 headphone or, or 100 speaker. Uh, so another tip and trick is uh, comparing, once again, comparing this track. Um, is it over that and seeing how well the sound meshes with the, uh, the track itself. So. tips and tricks for beginners to make sure that the mix doesn't go higher than it's supposed to. Uh, one of the ways to do that, and I'll show you with the Cubase inserts, is uh, so you open up your, your mix console. Um, uh, I should have started with that. You can find that by going to uh, devices or, or hitting F3. But you go into inserts, uh, add this on the uh, stereo out, because that's where everything's coming out from. And uh, there is uh, Cubase's own built-in um, mastering tools, which uh, don't use the UV22HR. Um, uh, let's see if I can't find it. It is di under dynamics. Um, as a beginner, sometimes people need to put a, a limiter on the master track. Uh, it's been debated whether it's a good idea. It's, it's good to put it on on uh, separate instruments rather than the, the final track, because sometimes you need it to, to go beyond for specific reasons. But what a limiter does with uh, the mastering is that uh, it means that the music won't go past a certain level, so you can make sure that it goes higher if you want by changing the input, but it won't go any higher than uh, 11 or minus 11 decibels or uh, higher than uh, se se plus 7 decibels. Uh, this this you can find under uh, dynamics. I I would just leave it at zero, um, and leave it on the the uh, the the master track. And what you want to do is from there, uh, turn each of these sounds up as much as you can, uh, and see how much space you can fill. And it won't it won't crackle. If you do change the 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 output and it's higher than zero and you want it to go up to six, you'll get a distortion and it'll sound really awful. Um, why I recommend leaving it on zero is because um, the the final sound won't go higher than uh, the the sort of standard mix or the uh, the standard in which uh, you you write music. 
It's a matter of bringing each instrument so it, it reaches that uh, top point. So I'll just show you for example, then I'll, I'll finish up. So here it is at plus six. <laughs> You can see that those two yellow lines will show the um, that distortion, and you can very clearly hear that distortion coming out of uh, the output because we've reached past a, a zero. So, uh, just to recap, this entire uh, good mixing on Cubase starts with um, having it on zero. You can add a limiter by going to excuse me. Uh, dynamics and then limiter. You can also test uh, your mix by dropping in a, a, a wave file uh, and uh, dragging it into uh, Cubase and listening to that. And the, the final trick is to add an instrument um, that is uh, of Cubase and play along with uh, your track and see how well it smoothly integrates itself in. I'll do that one more time. And, and that's pretty well integrated. I can separate the sound from the, uh, the, uh, the sound file up here. Anyways, I hope this was helpful. Uh, you can like and I'll, I'll try and make uh, more uh, Cubase uh, videos that are similar. All right. Uh, bye for now. <laughs>